come you don't use antibody like everybody else? Antibiotics ain't working no more. Well, they're making good stuff for mm. cows these days, but uh, mm. what do I know? I'm just poor old working cow hand. Hey, cuddle do her. Get on, girl. Come on. Wesley? I think we found her. Looks like she's not doing too well. She's come quite a piece for a little critter. But I think we better put her down. Right, put that rifle away. Yes, sir. That is one sick puppy. I don't think your home cook jungle juice can do her this time. I don't know about that, Frank. I mean, you wouldn't want to bet your best rope and saddle and your carbine, would you? <laughs> oh. oh, if it was anybody but you. I'm gonna go tell Holly we found her. No, 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 hold off on that. I won't wait till this critter gets out of the woods. Still time to take that bet? No, sir. Are you blowing smoke at me, Wesley? I don't gamble with my little girl's heart. As the siege in Ennis, Montana reaches its 52nd day with no end in sight, federal authorities, in an effort to distance themselves from the Waco and Ruby Ridge fiascos, are still hoping for a peaceful resolution to the standoff, with a local militia group led by Floyd Chisholm, a neo-Nazi with a history of radical confrontations with authorities, who is currently wanted for multiple federal weapons violations. Officials indicate that the fate of the standoff lies in the hands of Chisholm, the self-described patriot of a new America. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Thomas Jefferson? That's good, son. That's real good. All right, now who said this? There's only room for 100% Americanism. Only Americans and nothing else. James Madison. No, sir. FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the dupe on the dime. <laughs> Here, here's a picture of him. It's very unfortunate about Mr. Roosevelt. He was fooled in World War II and sending our boys to Japan and to Europe to fight. I gotta tell you something, gentlemen. He was a very brilliant man. He said some very smart things. And he was an American. Yes, sir! <laughs> What about these child-burning government stormtroopers who've sworn allegiance to the United Nations? Are they Americans? No, no sir! Hell no, they're not Americans! You know what I'm talking about, men? Yes, sir! I'm talking about the ATF! Yes, sir! The CIA! Yes, sir! The FBI! Yes, sir! I don't 
don't care what they call themselves. I just know this. My God, those son of a bitches. They're the real tyrants. Good day to die, Floyd. It's hard to believe that men walk this earth with hearts of ice. But you men, you men are the real Americans. Yes, sir. You men are the real patriots. Yes, sir. You men are the real citizens. Yes, sir. And I want to thank each and every one of you for sticking with me through this. I know that you men are eager and you wanted to fight. Yes, sir. But my God. I just can't let this happen. So I'm gonna put an end to it. I'm gonna walk out that door and surrender. I'm gonna monkey wrench their plans before they can get started. Doesn't hippopotamus have about uh, three peas in it? Thanks, Frank. You bet. Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I. You know you're getting so good. Uh, do you know how to spell Mississippi without using any eyes? No. You can't. Watch this. M I S S I S S I P P I. Hey Frank, haven't you got anything better to do? Uh, yes, Wesley. My Hi, Frank. This is Radio KXRT 70.9 Bozeman. Want some breakfast? Oh, you're about two hours too late, but thanks anyway. Are you getting sick of my cooking? No. 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 Okay, here's a half omelet, as promised. A little Tabasco sauce for you? Sure. Okay. So, uh, I hate to ask this, but, um, <clears throat> what are you doing? Homework. Weren't you supposed to do this last night? Yeah, but I walked up the hill. You walked up the hill. And what did Daddy tell you about walking up the hill at night? It's too dangerous. That's right. So why are you doing it? But how come it's too dangerous? There's still a million police on the other side. Sweetheart, you don't know what kind of yahoos out there right now. I ate your breakfast. Where'd Frank go? Oh, Frank, you know, he eats these wild breakfasts. He uses too much Tabasco sauce, and he's got a lot of gas. He's out in the outhouse right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He went into town to get me some parts. He'll be back soon. Uh, why do horses want to be alone when they die? Well, horses are braver than people. People, they need somebody who loves them to stay with them when they're dying. Horses, they seem to want to do it on their own. Grandpa says because they don't want anyone to see much way their souls run. That may be, but you can pour me some tea. Oh, those are more of Grandpa's herbs, is that right? Yep. What are these? Wildflowers. Wildflowers? Where'd you get these? From last night in the hill. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good.
Mistakes over there, girl. Now, just keep one thing in mind. When you get it wrong, that's the part where you take after your mother. When you get it right, you get it from me. Things never change. Yeah, I guess not. Road will be open soon, though. Floyd give himself up. What? Mm hmm. Walked out, reaching for the sky not an hour ago. Well, if that's true, something's funny, y'all. Well, now don't get too giggly too quick. The law only had the one warrant. The rest of them sons of bucks ain't going no place. There ain't no law against playing army. Listen, I got nothing against playing army. I don't mind that at all. I think the ideologist on these folks is good. But there's assholes everywhere. And Floyd is an asshole. Hmm. Eighty now. <laughs> God, Wesley, if we can just get him to move. Come on, Bob. He doesn't want a lawyer. Can you believe that? Hey, Clem. Sorry I'm late. Roadblock. I guess they finally called old Floyd Chisholm. It's about time. You've been a problem too damn long. How you feeling? Well, I felt better. How's that kidney doing? Yeah, better than it was. Not as good as it could be. All right. You seated? Howdy, Floyd. Howdy to you, Judge Tompkins. Got your tape in the mail. Good. Didn't blow up on you, did it? Hey, Counselor. Welcome, friends and neighbors. Welcome to my land. And over there is my house. And this is my scatter gun. And the Constitution. Don't say that this barrel has got to be longer than 18 inches. Now, you all are landowners. This is my land. I can do what the hell I want to on it. Same as you. It's a local matter, folks. County matter at most. So somebody want to tell me why in the hell a federal posse full of piss and vinegar is going to come riding in here trying to enforce federal law? I can tell you one thing, my friends, and I mean it from my heart. When those ATF gun grabbers come knocking on my door, I'm going to be ready for them. That's right. Thank you, thing. Counselor. I'd say that's grounds to hold you on federal weapons charges. 
Don't know why you sent me that tape. You knew what would happen when you did it. Floyd, if you break the law of the land, someone's gonna lock you in jail. The court doesn't care about your personal agenda or politics. You're gonna be processed just like anyone else. Got anything to say before we move on? As a matter of fact, I do. <clears throat> I want to tell you, the rest of these people in here, that the law of your land ain't the law of my land. I'd like to tell you something else, Judge Tompkins. I don't recognize this court. Hey, Clem. Here's his file. Oh, boy. Just tell me. This right kidney's still shut down. Hospital in Bozeman says I need dialysis. I can't afford that. I got no insurance. I ain't got nothing. Listen, if I put you on a special diet and vitamin regime, will you stay on it? If I can quit drinking, I can do anything. I want you to stick to it, and we'll get that kidney right again. How come they didn't tell me this in Bozeman? Because in Western medicine, they're in the business of prolonging illness, and I'm in the business of curing it. I can't afford none of your fancy vitamins. Well, I'll tell you what. You're still one of the best woodworkers in the business. And uh, how'd you like to fix these cabinets for me? Sure. It'd be a real pleasure, Doc. Well, there you go. We'll get that kidney up and running. How's that? Doctor, you have a phone call. It says it's important. All right. Hello? Dr. Wesley McLaren? Yes, sir? Howdy, Doc. Look, I I've got myself a problem. Uh-huh, what's that? Well, you see, sir, I've, I've got this mare, and, and she's about the sweetest little old Appaloosa mare a man can want. Sir, she's so pretty that, well, sir, I, I want to marry her. What's wrong with that? Well, not, not a thing, but, but see, the problem is, is the Justice of the Peace says that I've got to get her a blood test. Who is this? <laughs> Wes, Wes, chill out, buddy. Little Richard, how you doing? Bingo. So, uh... So tell me, how are things up in Ennis? Well, it was like heaven up here. How's Atlanta? Atlanta was hell. So I left. I'm on to bigger and better things now. But that's the reason I'm calling you. There's a new game in town, Wes. Contagion Containment. I think that's the stuff that I was preaching to you all years ago. What is it now that I'm gone, you're gonna listen to me? Oh, yeah, they're listening. There was a... Look, I'm heading up a unit called the Biological Response Team. And I could really use a good right-hand man. You know, somebody that knows his way around. Hell, you know, you are the king of the bug busters, aren't you? Thought you might be interested. Well, listen, uh, who's your boss? Who's paying the bills? Yeah, you know. The little alphabet company rhymes with CIA? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Hell, yeah, come on, hop on board. Shit, we'll have us a blast. I'm through with government work, and uh, I ain't gonna be doing no more public health either. You listen here, Wes. You're the best damn immunologist we have in this country. What, you're gonna, you're gonna sit up there and dog patch and piss away your talent? What, setting bones and pimping aspirin? Is that what you're telling me? No, no, no. Once in a while, I find a real cute heifer and have an affair. Uh, yeah, sure. Get back to your plastic beakers. What? How the hell am I supposed to get his cooperation if I can't even tell him what's going on, huh? I haven't got a clue, Doctor. But for once, we're gonna keep a secret. I'll call the next man on the list. <laughs> there is no next man on the list.
you're clear as a bell, girl. Looking good. Not sending me back. Well, ma'am, I think that hospital did you some good. Well, I hated it. Too many sick folk there. Yeah. Blackberry. Well, thank you. They grow this big at my house. It lasts about five minutes at my house. Well, now you heat it. It's no good cold. And keep it. Well, that's a Damascus knife. Good workmanship, but I can't keep that. That pie is enough. Thank you, ma'am. But you come to my house. Nobody ever came to my house when I'm sick. It was my husband's. Thought a man ought to have it. Listen, you get well. I'll see you around town, girl. Thank you, doctor. How are you? Good. How was school? Good. Good. What's that? This is a pie. Molly baked it. It's for dessert. Dessert means after supper, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How come you got some crust in your face? I did not. <laughs> you faked me out. Come down to Eggenweiler's Farm Depot. We've been serving the farmers of Montana for 57 years. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Emergency. Something like that. Why couldn't they call after we got home? Because it seems like people with emergencies never, ever have very good manners. But I want to ride Starla and look for the foal. Well, I'd like you to be able to do that too, babe. I really would, so. I'm gonna have Frank come and get you, okay? Thanks, Daddy. homework done if there's any guys in here no flirting no dating until you're 40. okay daddy see you a little bit bye doc holy shit i've never seen anything like this oh my god sheriff brought him in when he collapsed in his chambers what are his vitals Blood pressure is 240 over 120. Respiration is 30 and shallow. Pulse is 105. And he's hot. 101 when we brought him in. It's up to 106. IV is established with sodium chloride. Patient is crashing. Holy shit. He's going into shock. I mean, that severe edema around the abdomen and liver. All four quadrants of the abdomen are painful to palpations. QRS complex is widening. Has he been around any strange people, strange food, strange things? Did he get bit by a dog or something? What's going on, Dr. McClain? What a world of shit. What do you mean? Plastic beakers. I don't understand. You see, uh, with level five biohazards, you don't use glass because it'll cut your monkey soon. You'll be dead. Judge Hawkins yeah. is going into a seizure. Richard Box speaking. Plastic. I think we found your bug. I need a response team here immediately. Everybody in the moon suits now. Wes. Yeah, it's Bach. I want a BL4 containment of Ennis, Montana. 20 mile perimeter. This is not a drill. Seal it off.
Harvey, get me the chief of staff. General, checkpoint Alpha will be secured in 1-5, Mike. No one will get in or out. Sorry, sir, we've had to quarantine the area. Road's closed, so you'll have to return to Ennis. Sick. I don't know, but I got a bad, bad feeling something's about to get ugly. I want Holly to stay here with me, and I want you to stick around right town. You got it. this stuff like I told you. Look, Wes, what do you want from me, huh? I mean, I just came to help contain the damn thing. How, how was I to know? You gotta destroy this shit. You cannot keep stockpiling this stuff. It's what's gonna take out the human race. Now, whether it's the Russians, the Chinese, or the Americans, somebody's gonna steal it, and somebody's gonna let it go. It's now, look at us! Okay, okay, but here we how are. How long before the people of Venice start dying? One or two days. You know, variables for pre-existing condition, cardiac health, age, you know all that shit. Let me ask you a silly question. You have an antitoxin or uh, antidote? Yeah. Let's go get it. We got work to do. You know, I suppose in plagues and war, life don't mean much. Around here, her life still has some value. This old judge was a good friend of mine. Who do you suppose let the monster out of the cage, Dick? Technician snuck out with a culture and disappeared. A security tracked him to Billings and took him into custody one day after he sold it. We got here quick, though. You wouldn't happen to know who he sold it to, would you? Killed himself before the uh, interrogation team could get to him. You know, shoelaces. You sure he killed himself? Sounds like convenient to me. What's the count now, Doc? 94 infected, sir. Including five dead. How you holding up, Tom? I don't know. I just am. That's the judge's throat culture. Look at that growth. Incredible. I'm going to prepare some slides. Doctor, do you have an incinerator? Yes, sir. Take that shit and burn it. Wes, smart bombs of the future are gonna be microscopic. When the germs are cheaper, they don't, uh, they don't kill buildings. 
It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what I think. That's the way it is, and we've got to deal with that. Yeah, we're going to do the best we can to deal with it. I just hope we don't take out the whole world in the meantime. and they're just here to try to bring some medicine in that's special to try to make everybody feel better. Okay. Are you going to bring something like vaccine? Yeah, something like that. Are you going to give me a shot? Well, I've got to draw a little bit of blood, but I promise it won't hurt. Are you afraid? No. No? Because no cowgirls are afraid, you know what I mean? And also, if I'm going to be a doctor like you, it wouldn't be fair if I was scared of getting shots, because I'd be giving people lots of them. That's right. Can you keep a secret? Cross my heart. I'm really afraid of needles. Mm. <laughs> Hate them. Excuse me. How you doing this afternoon? I'm good, sir. I'm uh, here to see a prisoner. Everyone has the right to counsel, I guess, even Mr. Chisholm. Court recognizes me as such. All right, sir, fine. Now, please turn around. I'm going to have to frisk you. Yeah, that's your job now, isn't it? Real good, sir, this way. Thank you so much. A safety cone. <laughs> Trying to be fucking funny, Poke. My head's about to pound off my shoulders. My shoulders on fire. I'm sick. I know. I'm sick too. You're sick. What's wrong with you? We got a problem. Yeah, we got a problem, all right? I need another shot. Now just go get it. Just go get me a shot. It's not as simple as that. Listen, if every low-life son of a bitch in the world can get a dope in this damn cell, you can get me a shot. Floyd, even if I could get it in here, it doesn't work. The antitoxin doesn't work. It slows it down, but it don't stop it. It's like in my life. Goddamn cows. Excuse me, Mrs. 
I guess they're just getting back at us for all them burgers. Don't you worry not, because this little shop right here is going to keep you right on your feet. Everything's going to be all right. And if you get a little bit off of your feed, I'll buck your hay the whole winter through. Now that's your promise. Thank you, Frank. You bet. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. These folks are gonna be okay, ain't they? Yes, we're trained and equipped for this. Yeah. Frank, that ain't what I ask you, Slick. Hey, Frank. Yes, Wesley. Don't you think we got bigger problems? Yes, sir. Leave him alone. Ow! Watch it, son. I ain't no dartboard. There's been instances where NAM-37 has mutated. And when it does, antitoxin doesn't work. At least not for very long. Well, I guess we can all consider ourselves walking dead, man. Okay. Thanks to you, Floyd. Somebody's blood tested positive for initial exposure, but negative for the actual bug. What do you mean? Their body is fighting it and winning, eliminating it. Okay, we find out how, we isolate the antibody, that's it. That's the key. Well, we've got a couple world-class immunobiologists over there. They're gonna need a lot of blood. Let's see who sample this is. 11 TAC 23.
Yes, sir. I want you to search this building. You're looking for a little girl with long, dark hair. Find her. Yes, sir. Do you realize what you've done, Floyd? You've got to be the dumbest man alive. You've opened Pandora's box. You're the one who came up with that biochemical agent. You're the one who infected everybody. You sold your own people out. You sold your movement out. Yeah, the words of our forefathers coming out of your mouth ain't nothing but dog shit. Where's your little daughter? Why do you want to know? I'm asking the questions. <coughs> Where is she? Did you hear that, Poke? Good doctor's memory needs a jolt. Let's see if this will help him out. This is Floyd, son of a bitch. Now it's up to you, Ace. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Floyd, this ain't gonna happen the way you think. No, oh, yeah, it is. I guess it's gonna be the hard way, you understand? Damn it! Don't shoot! Still in there. Uh, uh, yeah, I, uh... Daddy. Okay, come on, man. Oh, Shoot her. Plug the hole. We need her blood. What about Dr. McLaren? We don't need him. Knock his dick in the dirt. <coughs> all right, pack your things. Get your riding boots on. We're all going to Grandpa's. We're gonna be popping some brush. Daddy, I know how to saddle a horse. Do you know how to hurry? You bet. Get with it, girl. Let's go. Thank you. 
them horses have enough oil to get out of here, bro. Oh, you did it. That's good. Let's go. Come on, man. Sir? Yeah. They got ambushed. They're all dead. And the trucks, too, they're scrapped. What about Sam and the other men? They got it, too. She's scared of, babe. Floyd. Floyd? Ain't nobody got to be scared of Floyd. He ain't around. I think she's scared of Frank, too. Frank? Frank is our guardian angel. He's up in heaven right now, looking down and laughing at us because he knows everything's going to be all right. Why are we taking him with us? Because I wasn't about to leave him there. I wanted to take him up to Grandpa so we could give him a proper burial and a good ceremony. That's a decent thing to do. Do you think he can see us? I do. Old Frank can find something funny in anything. He's up there slapping his leg, laughing and having a good time. He's watching us. But I don't want to think about Frank, because I remember he's dead. It makes me sad. And I think about mom, and it makes me sadder. Think about nice things, something you like.
I think we found it. I think we found the antibody that'll stop NAM37. But we still need the specific blood to isolate it. No shit, Doc. Of course we need the little girl. But you know what we don't need anymore? Is you. Pope. <laughs> Damn it. I'm sorry I couldn't resist. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, no. I have it. No, 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 no. That's not what this looks about. I just can't figure something out. I mean, you're downwind for minutes. You've been exposed. But you're not getting it, just like Holly. Come and have a look. Maybe it's genetic. Native American thing. Yeah, it could be. No, it's payback for smallpox. Oh, and that's not nice now. Sorry. Not funny. Not funny. But it's probably true. Aren't you supposed to be in school? I am. I'm just taking the semester off. Getting pretty burned out. Uh, don't blow your thesis. I won't. I'm just learning from Grandpa right now. He knows more about plants than any university botanist. You're right about that. He's getting old. He needs taken care of. Maybe spending a little too much time in the spirit world, but <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. I'm really sorry about Frank. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I feel like I got kicked in the ass by me on my hurry to get out of here. Where are you going? There's a facility up here in these hills. Got a good lab. I'm trying to get up on this bug. What facility? I'll tell you about it sometime. Good horse. Oh, he's a sorry old summer buck, but he gets me there. You know, it looks like somebody's got us into a real situation here. And I don't know how we're going to get out of this one. You're a hunter. Don't chase knowledge. Just like a deer, it'll run away from you. You've got to let knowledge come to you. Learn to listen to nature. You go. We'll be safe here. Why don't I go with you? I guess I could use a pair of extra hands. I ride as well as anybody. And I know the mountains. And I know my way around a lab, too. You packed? <laughs> The old timers would boil these and make paint for their horses. Why would they paint their horses? Because a horse can be vain, like a pretty girl. <laughs> make up for horses. <laughs> Do you remember this? It's... Ikshishane. 
red medicine. Yes, baby. And this purple one? It's our secret. Shh. I love you, Grandpa. All right, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get in there. Once we do, I'll just follow my lead. Lived here all my life. I didn't know this was here. You know what's funny? They made this virus and they built this internet thing. Now I'm gonna put them to good use, turn them both against them. Well, I found some clean spectrum. Just gotta hope they don't jam our comm link and then we should be all set. Oh, give me another shot. Floyd, it's worthless. I don't give a shit. I can't do this from six feet under in a box. Now give me the shot. I need to buy some time. Shot. Gotta warn us first. You're trespassing on government property. Please turn around and leave the area immediately. Dr. Wesley McLaren, I have T.S. Clarence. I'd like you to send someone topside to inspect my orders immediately. You're not on the access list. I can't let you in. And we have a major biochemical catastrophe topside. And my entrance into this facility is imperative now. <laughs> Any particular reason why you disobeyed a direct order, Private Benson? No, sir. Well, consider your ass Article 15. Yes, sir. This is a restricted area. That means I can blow you away just for standing there. Now drop your ID and your orders on the floor and step back. Sir. Who's the female doctor? This is Dr. White Cloud. She's come to assist me in my work in the lab. Now, I work on level C for about a year. 640. I need to get over there. Got a lot of trouble up topside, and I can see you have some down here, too. Well, unfortunately, doctor, I haven't been told anything about this. Therefore, in lieu of further instructions, I'm prepared to fall back on my general orders. I'm placing both of you under arrest. You can see the orders here. You don't want to arrest me. I'm here to help you. Cuff him. You're making a big mistake. Take it easy, guys. Take it. Ah! Lower your weapons. Lower your weapons. I am not a terrorist. I'm a doctor. And I'm here to help you. I'm going to my lab. So how many men are left here? Six plus one in the infirmary. How'd y'all get exposed? We were doing security drills topside. <clears throat> What'd you get a mask leak? No, sir, we weren't wearing any masks. I thought this whole disease thing was bullshit. Well, it's not. Just like I never left. See a little resemblance there? Lieutenant, Sergeant Gunner just died, sir. Well, we got work to do before there's more. Solve it. 
Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, you can. Here's your tea. Thanks. developments in Ennis, Montana, where militia leader Floyd Chisholm stormed the town after releasing an airborne virus that created a lethal hot zone. The virus has been identified as a level four biological agent known as NAM-37, 10 times the potency of anthrax. Authorities so far Chisholm have been unable to, to disprove the allegations made by the Citizens Militia website, claiming that the virus was released by the U.S. government. Militia organizations across the country have been flooded with inquiries and volunteers, while military surplus stores and gun dealers are reporting a run on gas masks and small arms city. across the, the country. The question on everyone's mind, how do you fight an invisible enemy? Forces, still maintaining a 20-mile perimeter, stand by helplessly, unable to move in, since sources confirm that Chisholm, the self-described patriot of a new America, does have the means of releasing more of the lethal virus across the country. Chisholm will return to his compound as government negotiators continue to try and end this deadly standoff. Mr. Chisholm, sir? Is this what Thomas Jefferson would have wanted, sir? Your history's good, son, but that was a long time ago. Things have, things have changed. You started all this, didn't you? Well, it ain't over yet. You remember that.
Wesley, there's something going on. Tell me. There's almost zero new cell growth in the lieutenant's blood. That can't be. Look. Why him? What are these flowers on his face? And what is this he's drinking? It's wildflower tea. It's Grandpa's recipe. He calls it red medicine. And how long have you been drinking? Since yesterday. It's the same stuff you've been drinking. Wesley. Hey, Doc. God damn, that's great. Thank you for being my guinea pig. You stay well. You be cool, sir. Saddle up, baby. We gotta move now. I don't want you to feed water these horses right away. They've been working real hard, okay, baby? Daddy, when are you and Grandpa gonna get here? Tonight. I miss Dan. Ooh. You just saw her last night. I don't know. You should miss her, too. Excuse us, please. Uh, yes, sir. Have a seat. I want to welcome you to my home. Would you uh, do care for some very fine marrow? All the way back. I'd say you have extraordinary taste for a good old boy. It's pretty remarkable. <coughs> well. Tell you the truth, I don't consider myself a good old boy. I consider myself a gentleman farmer, like our founding fathers. You know, somehow when I hear that, it seems to conjure up the image of your face on a dollar bill. Is that what you want? Wait a minute, let me let me think for a minute. Nah, not, not a dollar bill. I say a hundred dollar bill, isn't that right? I want the system of truth that our forefathers built on, not the lies that the usurpers have propagated. I don't want some damn fed scanning a barcode on my forehead when I use the bathroom. I think you want to sit in a catbird seat, but you don't want to pay the pipe. Who are you at war with, sir? You know very well who I'm at war with. You work for him. 
I'm at war with the bastards that came up with MK Ultra, mind control, narco hypnosis. <coughs> You've heard of that, haven't you, Doctor? The government did 70, <coughs> hell, I don't know. <coughs> 100,000 experiments on innocent people. Maybe even they'll die for it. Well, they've done it before, and they'll do it again. You know that they do these things. I do. How about this AIDS thing? You, uh, you help cook that one up? What's your game plan, anyway? Global 2000? <coughs> Leaving Schramm here, doctor? Now, the fact of the matter is, when I came into the agency, I was there for one thing, and that was to develop compounds that would defend the United States of America against foreign biochemical agents. Now, I did create some things that they may have used in the wrong way. They may have stockpiled them. They may not have destroyed them. And that may be the reason why I quit and got into the biggest shit fight in the world with these folks. It is not sane to release a biochemical agent to kill thousands or millions of people. Why don't you use your God-given intelligence and join me? We can find a cure for this. I've already got a cure. You've got the cure, Doctor, huh? Well, why don't you perform your Hippocratic duty? Help me. Let's have a toast. To our health. To liberation. <laughs> your daughter you gotta believe me you know I believe you so I'm not gonna kill you Dr. McLaren for you. Doctor, what the hell is going on down there? We thought the militia had you. You've got a cure. Flowers? buddy. Simple mountain remedies that us high flute immunologists never would have thought of. Took an old Blackfoot Indian to figure it out. Powerful, powerful antivirals. 
house. I'll be damned. These flowers will stop the virus and are being brought to everyone in the quarantine area. They will stop the virus if you act properly. Collect them, boil them, and wait for medical teams that will be arriving shortly. Grandpa, and the virus. See why I don't come to town? I understand, Grandpa. I understand. Daddy, look at her. Hey, 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 what have we got here? What have we got here? <laughs>